Here in the United States, the Obon Festival is a celebration of the Obon holiday. It's a Buddhist holiday, and when you go back to Japan, you'll find that uh, during the Obon season, people go back to their hometowns, and there's dancing in the streets, and there's just lots of celebrating and ancestral memorializing. It was brought with that first generation of the Japanese Americans who we call the Issei. They all came over in the late 1800s, early 1900s, and they brought these traditions with them. We appreciate our ancestors for our lives, and we dance today because we want to show them that we are doing well and being happy and joy. We're very much as a community about sharing and about being very welcoming. Who is our community? It's, it's everybody that we live with, you know, and everyone that influences who our community is. I am a fourth generation Japanese American, uh, which we call ourselves Yonsei. One thing I find interesting is that people don't know we're here. People don't know our history, even though it's very significant here in Portland. I'm very surprised when I meet, especially a lot of younger people that don't realize um, that our community was sent to concentration camps. The Minidoka Swing Band. The goal of this tribute band is to remember the perseverance of those, especially who were in camps during World War II. Within the fenced compounds, teenagers held dances to the music of Glenn Miller and Benny Goodman to temporarily forget the circumstances surrounding them. Right after World War II, what happened was a diaspora for our community. And so it was very difficult for us to have a cultural center. This significance of Obon, at least for like my family and my community I grew up in, was this time where we could come together and have multiple generations have at least one day, one weekend, where we could all celebrate something that we had in common. And so it's just a way for us to kind of continue traditions in a community that's really, really dispersed otherwise. As a fourth generation Japanese American, one thing that I think is a misconception is that because Japanese Americans are seen as very assimilated, they think we have no struggle or that we don't have any sort of intergenerational trauma. Even though we all speak English and we can very much fit in, we feel slightly disconnected from our past because we don't speak Japanese anymore, but everyone sees us as Japanese. And so that's why events like this, like Obon, are really significant to us because it's the one time we get to come together and have this kind of holiday that is uniquely Japanese American and we can find others like us because in our everyday lives, we're we're pretty much just seen as Americans who just fit in, but we don't always feel that way. So the fifth generation is the Gosei generation. I do have a nephew of the Gosei generation. 
I would love for him to be able to embrace his identity as a Japanese American and to be proud of that and, and to be able to make whatever choices he wants to make and, and to decide what is Japanese American for him. I try to model myself after what I wanted to see. So like at Obon, I try to sing and I always make sure that when I dance, I dance near the children and I want them to watch me dance. And I try to kind of over-exaggerate and have way too much fun because that's what pulled me back into going to Obon every year was watching those adults that looked like they were having so much fun and I wanted to be just like them. So I think it's important for them to see people who are proud of their traditions because that's not what we always had as a Yonsei generation. So if we can give that to the Gosei generation, then I think that they'll be able to kind of redefine who they are as Americans.